redeem their firstborns. I declare that people has no control. The practice of redemption of firstborn in the church is an occultic practice. Redemption of firstborns. This is a major stream of income in most modern social clubs they call churches. The preacher will tell you that you are suffering because you are a firstborn. And if you are a firstborn who has buried their brains, you will believe it and start looking for a way out. But these robber pastors quickly give you a solution. Redeem yourself by giving a certain amount of money. But to make it look real, they first lead you in some prayers of calling fire on the curse of being a firstborn. Here is how one of them does it. Whatever is hindering greatness in your life and in the life of all the firstborns in your family, yes. cut fire. Cut fire. And since your brains have been switched off by those incantation prayers, they are ready to execute their next agenda, giving certain amount of money they call the seed of redeeming yourself as a firstborn. And here is how it goes. I want you to hold the seed in your hand. If you are a firstborn or if you have a firstborn, hold the seed. I want to speak a word over that seed concerning the firstborn. And let's assume that there are just few firstborns in the room. What is their next strategy to loot as much money as possible? They tell you if you have a firstborn daughter, son, brother, sister, mother, or father, you can also give a seed to redeem them. Of course, everyone in the room has either a firstborn brother or sister if they are not firstborn themselves. Listen to this. It is a seed of redeeming yourself as a firstborn or your firstborn brother, your firstborn sister, your firstborn child. The spirit of lawlessness will always find a scripture to attach it lawless practices. And in this case, there are some scriptures they like quoting. Here is one of them. Psalms 50 verse 5 says, Gather my people together, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. But is the seed of redeeming yourself as a firstborn just a certain amount? Of course not. These shopkeepers will always tell you that the sacrifice must inconvenience you. It must cost you and must pain you. In other words, it must be your Isaac sacrifice. Here is how they put it to get a larger loot from the people. If it does not inconvenience you, it is not a sacrifice. If it does not touch you, it is not a sacrifice. Rabakadoshka, Rabakadoshka. And to crown your deliverance after giving your seed, they pronounce you blessed and your story changes instantly. After all, the robbery was successful without shedding blood or getting anyone hurt, and the story of the preacher has changed not your own. But who is fooling who? Beginning today, as you are laying your sacrifice on this altar, your story will change. I said your story will change. But Apostle Tarkim has this sound doctrine that renders all dedication of firstborn doctrines null and void. Apostle starts us off by telling us that the culture of dedication of firstborn to the supernatural never came from God. And here is how he explains it. The culture of dedicating firstborn to the supernatural never came from God. The culture of dedicating firstborn to the supernatural never came from God. Did you see God telling Adam, 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 it's not good for you to be alone. I'm going to make a help me. Come for you. When they help me come, you give back to the first child. When you give back to the first child, dedicate that one to me. Because all the first ones that open the womb of their mother is given to me. Is that what God told Adam? You can't find that in Genesis chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3. For God's sake. For God's sake. Did he tell Abraham the same thing? I read the Bible. Did God tell Abraham to dedicate the first one? Why is it that he never told Abraham? But he told the Jews. The culture of dedicating firstborns to the supernatural was an Egyptian culture who were dedicating their firstborns to the sun god. And that's where the Jews borrowed the practice after staying with them for over 400 years. Apostle expounds more. The culture of dedicating firstborn to deities was not a kingdom culture. It was the culture of the Egyptians. If you read the Egyptian story, I read it. If you read the Egyptian story, it was a cesspool of demonic transaction. 
as of when Israel were inside, those guys were touching devils. It is, it, Egyptians knew about immortality before the Jews. Because demons appear. Do you know why there are pharaohs are put in the mummy? Because to them, pharaohs don't die, they transit to the next life. So Egyptians knew about immortality even before the Christian faith. But just that they knew it in the devil version of immortality. So watch this. Egyptians dedicated their firstborn to the sun god. So when Israel got there, can you imagine people were in a, in a culture for 400 years. Don't you know they will practice it? So the Jews now practiced it. Dedicating their firstborn to the gods of the land. You could be wondering, but why did God ask the Israelites to put blood on the lintels of their doors for the angel of death to pass over them? Apostle Richard explains the whole mystery behind that. When God now came to smash the gods of Egypt, to protect them, he told them, put the blood on the lintel of your houses watch this if israelite had not practiced the culture of the egyptians jesus or let me say god will have entered egypt and take down the gods without asking them to put the blood don't does he know them talk to me don't the dead angel know the jews he knew the jews but why did he say put the blood so that when I put the when I see the blood that pass over you, because you have lived the Egyptian lifestyle also. I am coming for judgment. So the firstborn have been dedicated to the gods of Egypt. You also, Israel, you also dedicated your own firstborn to the gods of Egypt. But here is the thing: before the practice of redemption of firstborn came into place, it started with the dedication of firstborns. Now if your parents never dedicated you to any demon, why are you being redeemed or being bought back? It means the pastors are stealing from you. Apostle has more on that. It began with dedication of firstborn. Not redemption. Not redemption of firstborn. It was dedication of firstborn. <laughs> are you understanding me? So when they dedicated the firstborn, to, to the gods of Egypt. So God was now coming to smash the gods of Egypt. To save them. He now knew that if I just pass in the land, even the Jews would die. So let me separate them from the judgment. Let me die their death. He now said, kill the lamb. The lamb represents Jesus on the cross. Kill the lamb. Take the blood. Put it in the little of your house. That when I see the blood I will pass over you I will take down your own firstborn that you gave to the demon because I'm about taking down both the demon and the food give it to it if Israel had not dedicated their firstborn there will be no need for that now God did that to secure their firstborn when they now came out of Egypt he now told them redemption of first one you don't redeem what has not been dedicated the word redeem means buy back are you understanding me now for the sake of argument me when i was born i was not dedicated to any demon so i don't need redemption the practice of redemption of firstborn in the church today is an occultic practice that means whenever the culture is practiced in a church it ushers in destroyers and the demons who were given firstborns in egypt the practice of redemption of firstborn in the church is an occultic practice the practice of redemption of firstborn in the church is an occultic practice it's not the kingdom of god you see why they provoke the destroyers they provoked the destroyers who brought the practice. It was the destroyers in Egypt that brought that culture for the Egyptians. Are you understanding me? So now, Zion has not borrowed it. Those who say they are prophets, they have not borrowed it. They are provoking the same devils. When God told them, redeem. We have read the Bible, I've shown you before. We have Israel redeemed the firstborn. God said, 
person that opened the womb god now decide to bring it to make to to make the coming of christ since that is what they are used to god decided that okay i will use the culture you are practicing to bring in jesus as the firstborn of many brethren are you understanding me so when the israelites came out of egypt god told them to redeem their firstborns from the son god of egypt whom they had dedicated them to they continued with the practice of redeeming their firstborns and dedicating them to god until they reached mount sinai and god terminated the practice apostle explains this better in order to terminate that look at what he did he told them any firstborn that opened the womb give it to me the way you were giving the one in egypt why you gave to demons i enter into captivity give to me to enter into liberty are you understanding me now watch this they did it they crossed the red sea look at the 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 significance of crossing the red sea because they crossed the red sea got to sinai immediately after sinai god terminated the redemption of Hezbo immediately after Sinai. Why? When they came out of the Red Sea, it represents water baptism, salvation. They go to Sinai, it represents Holy Ghost baptism. So after they, after they experience salvation, crossing the Red Sea, Holy Ghost baptism, Sinai, whatever you give to the devil, I'll be removed from your life. Redemption of firstborns to God was replaced by the Levites who were fully dedicated to God. That means the redemption of firstborns ended many years ago before even Jesus was born. That should tell you that all what our present-day preachers are doing is just charismatic robbery. Listen to this. In Anton Moses, no more redemption of firstborn. Let the Levite replace them. All these things are in scriptures. Is someone hearing me? But Apostle, my parents dedicated me to an idol, a dark supernatural when I was born. Should I not redeem myself as a firstborn? Certainly not. Instead, Apostle gives you the ultimate way out in God's kingdom. Now, let's assume the argument is, oh, you were dedicated to an idol when you were born. So, come on, redeem firstborn. They are using the culture of the destroyers. Oh, you were dedicated to an idol when you were born. Give your life to Christ. That is all. Receive Holy Ghost baptism. That is all. Are you understanding me? And nothing else. The practices we have in church have ruined our lives because some of them came from the destroyers. But when we hear, we repent of what we, do, we did. We can find mercy in his presence and it takes down the gods. Redemption of firstborns is an occultic practice and a money-making machine tool for robber pastors. Don't be caught by their net. You don't need to give any preacher some money to be free even if you were dedicated to the devil. All you need is to allow Jesus into your life and receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Thanks for watching.